Welcome to the ebook creation video tutorial. I know you're probably thinking, where did this video come from? Because if you've been watching it in sequence, you'll notice that all of a sudden these two new little topics appeared. Well, that's because these ebook creation video and the e-cover design videos were actually added after the initial release of the Internet Profit Mentor Portal. So keep coming back here and keep looking for new videos because on an ongoing basis I'm going to be adding new tips and tricks to the website creation toolbox. So why would you want to make an ebook? Well this video is going to teach you how to make an ebook. Now I just released a newsletter. The first edition of the Internet Profit Mentor newsletter deals with how to make a PDF. And I have different reasons on uh, why you would want to use a PDF for viral marketing on the free books you would want to give away. And why you would want to use an executable or secure ebook for the ebook that you're selling. So, um, if you're wondering about PDFs, please refer to the issue number one of the Internet Profit Mentor newsletter, and you can go into the forum and onto the blog, and you can search that out. Okay, so why would you want to make an ebook? Well, I'm not going to get too deep here. I'm just going to provide a few reasons for you, and one is it's a way to add security to your content. That's uh, another way of saying that is to prevent people from viewing your ebook without paying you. If you're selling something, you don't want people to be able to distribute it for free. You want everyone who gets your product to pay. So using a certain software, you can do that. You can keep location of your files secret. So if you want to share some files with people and you don't want it leaking out and having them to be able to copy them and download them at will, you can use the ebook software to, to mask it for you. And you can also prevent people from cutting and pasting. Um, usually, like when you, if I were to highlight this text right here, if I were to right click and hit copy, I would copy that to the clipboard and I could go paste that somewhere else. Well, the ebook software prevents that from happening. And the software does it all. So, I'm going to show you how to make an ebook in just a few minutes. It's a few very easy steps, and I'm going to show you right now. So, what we need to do is let's go to our desktop. So this is just your computer screen. And I've created a folder called ebook project. So I'll just click and open that up. And just to set it up, let me make another folder, a new folder. And I want to call that ebook. Okay. Now let me right click and go to new. And I'm going to select open document text. Now I'm using a software called Open Office. And open office, I'll put the link right underneath of this video, and it's also in the resources section of the Internet Profit Mentor Training Portal. Open Office is basically a free software that does everything that Microsoft Office does, plus some more. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Open Office. You can also use the same technique in Microsoft Word if you have Microsoft Word. But if not, just go get Open Office and download the software for free. So I've started a new text file, and let me open that up just by clicking on the file and I created that by right clicking and then selecting the menu so I clicked on my right hand mouse key and created this file you can also open open office up and create the file that way okay so I have my blank open office document opened so now just to start I'm just gonna show you one way of doing it I'm gonna choose uh, certain background colors and stuff but you'll be able to choose your own so if I go up to format and click there then I go down to page I'm gonna select just a nice blue background color and hit OK now just in this software this white where you see my cursor right now that's not gonna show up in the final version this blue is basically the page that you're gonna see so I have my page created now let me center the cursor so I've got the cursor right here now I wanna go down to table I wanna put it in a table so go to table insert table Okay, now I want a table with one column, one row, and I want to hit OK. I'm not explaining what tables are right now because I've already explained it earlier in the website creation toolbox. So go back to those videos if you're not really aware what tables are. So I've created the table, and I just want to go and select the background color for the table, and I'm going to choose white. Now let me close this box, and you'll see what I did. I created the table in the center here and you'll notice the background of the rest of the page is blue but now I have this white table right here if I go up to table and then table properties I can adjust the table so 
let me center the table, give it a centered alignment. And now the width, I can make it relative. And just a nice one is maybe 66%. I know I told you not to use percent width for web design, but this is a little bit different than web design. So right now, 66% is okay, and you'll actually be able to adjust it with your cursor anyway. So I made the width, and there's also some other uh, variables in here that you can control. So let me hit OK, and now it made the table shorter. Now if I wanted to, I could just stretch it out a little bit and it stretches my table. Right here is where you would want to start typing your ebook. So if you wanted to type your ebook, you could start typing here. Now I've actually already created a newsletter issue in this other file, so let me just select it all and then let me copy it. Hit copy. Now I'm going to paste it into that new ebook that I'm creating. So I go here and let me go to edit and paste. Now you'll notice when I pasted it there's a blue background for everything so what I need to do is I need to go into the table right click and select table right here now for the background see how there's these tabs before here was the original one I was messing with for this background I need to hit white because I want to be able to see everything with a white background so I hit OK and now I've got my ebook or actually this is just the newsletter issue in here and you see it's cutting it off so I need to select from the view menu I need to select web layout I'm not explaining each and every little fine point of what I'm doing here so I'm just giving you instructions to follow you can duplicate this yourself and you can tweak it so now you see that I have all this stuff written in here and certain ones it doesn't recognize certain like omni format it's trying to spell check it but I'm just gonna ignore that so I have populated all this content in here, okay? So you write your own ebook and put your own ebook stuff in here. Now, when you're done writing your ebook, go to the file menu and select Save As, okay? Now, it opened up my, I'm in the ebook project folder, which you can see I'm pointing to here. Now, I want to save it inside the ebook folder, which is inside my ebook project folder. It's just, uh, you'll see what I mean after you create one. It creates a bunch of these files. Now, save as type. Go down here, and you need to select HTML document. If this was Microsoft Word, you would be selecting web page for save as type. But in OpenOffice, it's called HTML document. And the file name is not important. I can just call it ebook, or let me call it ebook9, just uh, to show you that it's a different file. So I want to save. And it's telling me that some of the HTML might not be compatible so I'll just say that's okay don't worry about that now when I bring up my folder and go inside the ebook folder it saved the web pages and it's doing it right now so if I were to open up this ebook 9 and view it you're gonna see that it saved the web page and I can scroll down and, and see all the stuff so it's in there now you might have to go in through hand coding and change a few things because if you notice it took away some of my formatting. This is actually not the font that I had it, but that's okay. So you might have to go through in the hand coding and, and, and tweak it a little bit, but it's pretty good the way you saved it. So now I have, in this little ebook folder, I've got the ebook as a web page. You need to make it into a web page first. Now you can have it complex. You can make several different web pages and have them all linked together inside this folder but you want to put them all in a little tiny subfolder so you can use the software to create the ebook.